everybody welcome back to the channel Shayna here uh good morning good afternoon good evening i hope you all are doing well uh it is morning here today on sunday september 12th and i hope you guys can hear me okay i'm trying to be quiet because i'm sure my roommate's sleeping and we both work early this morning um but i wanted to go ahead and get this video done i've been wanting to do this for a while but this week has just been crazy i've had early and then late shifts and then early and then late shifts so my sleep schedule has been way off and i've just been putting everything off because i'm and tired <laughs> so um i got these pens last week around this time and i saw them over on coloritaville which used to be color with Donna, and now it's Donna and Renee, and Donna does the marker stuff, and Renee does the pencils, um, so I will link that video below, because she has a really good review, um, and that is why I bought these markers, and they are just so really awesome, I haven't colored a full page with them yet, um, but I have swatched them out, I know you guys can't really see very well, but, um, well, I guess you can if I hit the right button. There we go. Let's zoom you in on my little swatches here. Um, they're not really in any particular order, but as you can see, they are pretty smooth. You can see a little bit of a mark on this one, but these guys are water-based markers, and they go down almost like um, alcohol markers. I don't know what's going on with my iPad today. It's being very touchy. There we go. Um, so they are really, really cool. I'm going to have to zoom you guys in again. I didn't mean to go out that far. But they come in this little package, and I just got the one set. You can, there are 36 colors, and you can get them all together. Um, I just looked before filming, and they come at about uh, $40, $41 on Amazon. Uh, this set cost me, I think, $13.50, but it has gone up to like $14.00. 17 or something and then there is so this is the bright light set and then there is a calm dark set and then a standard it just said standard 12 count markers um but you can get all three sets for the 40 and then these run about 15 dollars um so they come in this nice packaging they come with this little um covering it kind of holds them in place and it goes on pretty easy now watch I'm gonna struggle with it but um it just kind of slips down so that's nice to kind of hold them in place and then the marker itself which I think these would be if you guys bullet journal and stuff I think they'd be really good for that um they are clicky so when it's closed it's dark and when it's open this little dot is red which is really cool because then you know if your marker's open or not. Um, and they go down really super nice. Um, they're really fun to color with. They'd be great, like I said, for bullet journaling. Um, and just be aware that they are produced, I believe, in Japan. So um, you are getting the real thing if you see, like, Japanese. I think this is Japanese or Korean or something. I'm not sure. Um, and my roommate's not here to tell me. <laughs> um but, oh look, there's a dot on the back as well, that was distracting, and you can tell that way too. Um, they are produced overseas, so you are getting the real thing if you see the writing. Um, Donna pointed this out as well, that it, this doesn't mean that it's a knockoff. Um, that's where the zebra markers are made. So, yeah, I thought we could color a little bit with them in because uh, I haven't tried them, I've tried them on this copy paper, but I haven't tried them on Amazon paper, and I've had issues with, oh, that's actually a really good page to start with, um, because it's simple. Um, so hopefully they don't peel it, I don't think that they will. I have, like, eye boogers, I'm sorry guys, I'm scratching my eye, it's driving me nuts. Okay, um... So let's start, I'm gonna take actually, I think a pink marker maybe. Actually, let's go with this purple because I really like this color. Of course, it's purple. Um, and we'll go over here. I did wanna say something else about these and I don't remember what. Uh, I'm gonna take this page and just put it behind just in case. 
Oh, um, we can see, actually, let's do that first. Let's take these two. I wanted to see if they'll blend because right down here, um, let's zoom you in more. See if you can see this dot. Let's go all the way and then I'll just move. Um, I kind of let it dry and then went back over and look how non-streaky these are. Isn't that crazy? I was like, that's amazing. Like you can see a little dot, but you're not going to notice that. So I wanted to see if they'll blend at all. So let's go like this and then we'll click this one. Oh, now I remember what I was going to say. But let's finish this part first. Oh wow, they do blend pretty good. Look at that, friends. That's crazy. Whoa. Sorry, I think that was off camera. I'm so sorry. But they do kind of blend, which is really cool because these are water-based. Um, and what Donna had said, I didn't do as much, much research because she did a lot. Um, but these markers, I guess, have a specialized ink, which would explain why they can do that. And they're water-based. Um, and they... Um, are supposed to be able to be like let out and not dry up as quickly. Um, I think that she said that as long as there is ink in the pen, they won't dry up as long as they're not left out. Um, so that's pretty cool too. Again, I will link it down below. Um, I just wanted to, oh dang it. I am a mess this morning. It is too early. <laughs> I just wanted to show these pens to you guys because um, they're great if you guys, of course, like Danny, I know you journal, um, but they're also really good for coloring, which I think is really, really cool. Um, and I just like the clicky part because um, I think it's convenient and they are pretty small. Uh, they're really nice to hold on to. So yeah, let's see what they do on this paper. All right, let's just start over here. Basically making a whip, which I really don't need right now, but it's fine. Oh wow, this actually goes down really nice. So I guess we'll see if they bleed through because I forgot to put that paper back there. Um, I guess the only downside is that the tip is quite small. Um, but they are gliding really nicely on this paper. This is actually really a joy to color with and considering it's water based on Amazon paper that is not always the case but these are going down so smooth and they're not because they're water based they're not bleeding out of the lines this is these would be really really good for like super detailed mandalas um and I don't know if I mentioned this before, but there are 36 colors all together. So if you go like right to the edge of where you stopped, you really can't tell um, that there is a line. Wow, I am obsessed. So it's a little bit streaky. Oh, sorry, my floofy hair is in the way but not like super tips or anything like that. Let's move you around here. Um, so you can see where I went over it like a couple of times or where I stopped. Let's see, can you see? Ah, wrong way, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, being zoomed in so far really puts off like the perception of everything. Let's move over center. Um, so I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I think you can. Like there's a spot here, there's a spot there, but I think once the whole page is colored, you would not notice that at all. Um, yeah, I think that is really, really cool. Let's uh, zoom out and do another one and see if we can get even less streaks. I don't have to zoom out that far. All right, let's go this way. Because I kind of went back and forth the first time, so let's just continue all the way down, see what happens. And I don't want to keep you guys for too, too long, 
but I'm just noticing it's only been like 10 minutes, which is not too bad. It's kind of hard to color this way because I'm trying not to put my hand over. So yeah, I guess the only downside really is that um, the tip is super small. So it's smaller than even like a normal bullet nib on a um, alcohol marker. So it does take a while to do big spaces. So I would suggest these to use these as like fine liners almost. But man, they are nice. Yeah, so with this one, there's really no marks except for right there where I started and stopped. I am super duper impressed with these guys. Oh, excuse me, they are so nice. That's so cool. I really wanna keep going, but I'm not going to. Um, let's go ahead and take this purple mark or this other fuchsia color and do the center see how it goes with something like this with a lot of like edges this was like the perfect mandala to choose I am working quickly or as quickly as I can um, it also seems like you don't want to push real hard because then it will peel the paper maybe I'm not sure uh, it just seems a little scratchy when I push harder, so I wouldn't suggest that. So you, all you really need is like a light hand. And then after I'm done with this one, we'll flip over and see if it bled through. Hopefully it didn't. Because they are water-based, so I made a very bold decision when I forgot to put that paper back there and decided to continue with it anyway. So even that, and there's no peeling that I can feel. Um, it is wet, so it is a little crinkly. That's okay. Okay, so that, it did go through a tiny bit, um, but I am heavy handed and this would be like coverable. So I'm not real concerned about it. Um, but yeah, definitely put something behind, at least on Amazon paper. Um, and yeah, so they go down super smooth. Uh, they've got the nice click, they have your little marker to tell you whether they're open or closed, um, they're not supposed to dry out, just trying to recap real quick. I am obsessed, and these are the Zebra brand, if I didn't mention that before, Zebra Click Art is what they're called, um, and I would totally suggest these. Uh, you can accumulate them slowly, I do wish that they had more colors, because it seems like the, oh gosh, I'm not even in the camera with the markers um it seems like with the um like standard colors they're kind of similar to these but when it shows all of the sets together they all look different so um that's something that I wouldn't know because I don't have the full set um but I am hoping to slowly accumulate them um I will probably grab the dark set soon and then just leave the standard for later. Um, but yeah, I am actually really happy with these. I'm hoping to color with them more and try them on different papers, but I think no matter what, it'll be like a good thing, I would hope. Let's see, I actually have cardstock here. Um, and this is actually a buddy color with Misty that I need to work on. So let's see, we have some corn. <laughs> so let's take this yellow. <clears throat> and zoom you guys in again. And let's see on this cardstock how it goes. Where are we here? Yeah, that one. Okay, that's really smooth as well. Don't really care for this color. But it's alright, I can always print this page out again if I want to. 
Um, it almost seems a little bit more splotchy, but I noticed that even with my alcohol markers because I feel like this paper is super thirsty. Yeah, not a fan of that color, but kind of looks like rotten corn. Let's do another one and just see. I feel like I definitely need to go slower because it is like sucking the ink out. <laughs> Um, yeah, I liked them better on the Amazon paper, actually. They still look good. But I feel like it actually peeled this paper more than it did the Amazon paper. Which is interesting. Yeah, definitely. So, again, they are still water-based, so do keep that in mind. But they still have minimal streaking, which is amazing. Um, and I just think they're really nice pens. I feel like they would be good even, like I said, just for writing. Um, and you do get 12 in a pack, so that's a pretty good deal as well. Um, yeah, I think that you should at least give them a try if you're interested. Um, hopefully the price drops. Again, it was like, um, I don't know, two, or a dollar so cheaper like yesterday so I'm not sure why the price went up I think the price went up on the dark because they um, oops I think the price went up on the dark because there's only one pack left on Amazon right now at least that's what it says we all know that that might not actually be the case so um, I think that's why that price went up and then they just raise the other ones because they felt like they needed to I don't know but um my I'm so tired guys <laughs> so I do apologize I hope this wasn't too boring um but yeah I think I don't think that even $15 is bad for these especially if you're going to use them and it'll be interesting to see how long the ink lasts because it's supposed to last longer I think and not dry out and all that good stuff so um yeah, thank you guys for um, humoring me today and letting me do this little review. I think it was a lot of fun. Um, I am hoping to get this out to you real, real soon. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you will you guys purchase these? Will you not? Um, have do you have these already? How do they work for you? Um, let me know, and I will keep you guys updated on these as I color with them more. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.